Glam Camp. I'm Rachel Barenbaum, author of A Bend in the Stars, and I'm coming to you live from the mountains, where Emily Temple's debut novel is set. The lightness just dropped. It is so, so good. I absolutely loved it. Congratulations, Emily. Tell me, what is your book about? It's about a girl who follow, follows her father to a meditation center and meets a bunch of girls there who all decide that they're going to figure out how to levitate. Do you know how to levitate? Trade secret. So the book opens with a line that I absolutely love. Uh, you say, you'll never get your good long life if you keep asking the wrong questions. Which question is the right question? I absolutely love that line. Could you talk about it? I sort of stole it from the opening of Marguerite de Raz, The Lover, which I adore. It begins with a fortune teller looking at her face on the street. And I just think that we tell ourselves stories about what the future is going to be and what the based on what the past is. And so I thought about that as my narrator is in her 30s looking back on this one summer that changed her whole life. Well, the thing that I think is best about the book is the, the structure in terms of the, all of the asides and th that I put in, like all, there's a lot of facts and there's a lot of, here's a fairy tale. Um, what was the hardest part to write? The plot, the whole plot. It's true, I love a, I love a sentence, I live in the sentence but the plot frightens me. <laughs> and how long did it take you to write the book? Door to door, six years. The lightness is filled with all sorts of deep questions and big ideas. What do you want people to walk away from this book thinking? I recently came across this note that I had written to myself in the notebook that I used while I was working on this book. And it said in all caps, what do we believe and how far will we go to believe it? And I think that's the real central nugget. Who is the dream writer that you want to fall in love with the lightness? Uh, my dream girl, Maggie Nelson. <laughs> the lightness engages with Buddhism. What is your connection to Buddhism? I grew up in a Buddhist family. Every summer, my parents would take me to a meditation center that is somewhat similar to the one in the book, although it did not have any sort of penal program for teenage girls. It was just a beautiful place where you got to experience Buddhist practice and teachings. So it's very close to my heart. It's something that I have really grappled with for my entire life. And, and really, I've been thinking about it since I was a kid. So couldn't help it. Your cover is absolutely gorgeous. And you have a great story behind it. Can you tell us what that is? I bought a print of this image from the artist Beth Hochul and while I was writing the book. And I got it in the biggest size. And I framed it. And I put it right in front of my bed where I write. And I stared at it while I wrote this book. And then when it came time to make the cover, my publisher asked me, did I have any ideas? And I said, I do have an idea. And I sent them her work and they loved it. And magically now it's the cover. So tell me about working with your agent. Working with my agent was incredible. I love her so much. She, we worked on it together for two years after she read the first draft. Right before we sent it out, she sent me a very scary email that said, we have to cut 100 pages. And then we can send it out to editors. And I panicked, but in the end, I did cut 80 pages, not quite 100. Now the managing editor of Lit Hub. Congratulations. Tell me about that. Well, I have been writing about books on the internet for over a decade. And I've been at Lit Hub for the last four years and I love it so much. If you've ever read a listicle on Lit Hub, there's a very good chance that I wrote it. And I plan to be doing many more listicles. Do not deride them, they are wonderful. Emily, thank you so much for joining me here today. Congratulations, may you sell many, many copies. Thank you so much for having me. I hope